There are people who can go out and drink a bottle of wine to themselves or more and wake up feeling fuzzy headed, but not in a desperate state. And then there are people who can drink a couple of larger glasses of wine and wake up feeling absolutely diabolical. And that's me. Anything over a large glass of wine will have me at the very least feeling drained and headachey the next day. If by sheer madness I ended up drinking close to a bottle, which happens rarely because I know exactly what will happen, I would the next day have a hangover, the magnitude of which would be off the Richter scale. It would usually involve a migraine and throwing up. Also, on anything more than a glass of wine, I could experience stuffy nose and fluid retention, kind of swollen hands. It's never good. That said, I do love a glass of wine. I really enjoy the taste. I like to savour it and I find it relaxing. And that means I've tried a good few things to try to fend off a hangover, including drinking a lot of water before bed, taking a paracetamol before bed, drinking the Barocca B vitamin based drink before bed and in the morning. And I've also tried drinking Diorolite rehydration powders the night before. But whatever I try, if I've overdone it, I will most likely pay for it. So when Swedish probiotic firm Defer Medical announced it had launched a new and proven cure for hangover, I made sure I was among the first to get my hands on it. And I've tested it over two nights and this is what happened. So the science behind the miracle pill, you see what they did there, miracle, is that it's designed to break down alcohol before it reaches your liver, preventing the formation of toxic acetaldehyde, easy for me to say, which can add to hangover symptoms like nausea, headaches and palpitations. So far, so good. Participants in a clinical trial who drank two glasses of wine and took the supplement before drinking had on average 50% less alcohol in their blood after 30 minutes. After 60 minutes, they had 70% less. Thus, the makers say, significantly reducing alcohol's impact on the body. It contains targeted bacteria strains, along with L-cysteine and vitamin B12, as well as fermented rice bran, magnesium salt, and calcium phosphate. And it's designed to put gut flora into your digestive system that will help metabolize or process the alcohol before it's absorbed into your blood. That means it will also reduce the effects of alcohol, which is the first important point to mention. It means you might be spending a lot on a nice bottle of wine or your preferred drink not to get the full effect. Your mind then starts thinking, would it not just be best to drink a little less and a little slower so you can get the full effects and reduce your hangover? But we all know there are those occasions when sense goes out of the window or it's an all day wedding or a big function and you just end up drinking more than you should. That's where this pill may come into best use. Miracle is available in a packet of 30 tablets for £30, making it £2 per two pill dose. I'm going to link to a brilliant article on the New Atlas website, which uh, broke down some of the science behind Miracle because um, the research that is highlighted in the marketing sounds really impressive until we find that it involved a study carried out on just 24 people. So what happened when I tried it? Well, over two nights running, I pushed it a bit by drinking two larger glasses of wine. Crazy, I know. By larger, I mean they probably amounted in total to just under four units or 300 millilitres combined, which is enough to make me feel ropey the next day usually. So on night one, I took Miracle two hours before drinking, which is the ideal time according to reports based on interviews with the manufacturers. Though the packaging itself just says to take two pills before drinking and doesn't give advice around timings as far as I could make out because the instructions on this packaging are tiny. That first night I just had one pill because I figured I was only drinking a couple of glasses so I thought that that might be enough. I did notice on that first night of drinking wine with my meal that afterwards and through the rest of the evening the effects of alcohol were slightly less noticeable than usual and there was no aftertaste of alcohol later that night or feeling that I'd been drinking. The next morning though, I didn't feel great. I was tired, I could still see the effects of fluid retention in my hands and my stomach 
felt a bit rough. So I wasn't sure whether I was just having an off day and so I thought, right, I'm going to try this again the next night and take the recommended two pills before drinking. I again had two larger glasses of wine with dinner. This time, the impact an hour or so after drinking was more notable because I really didn't feel like I'd been drinking much at all. So the next morning, I woke up feeling fine, pretty fresh, probably clear headed and brighter than usual. Uh, however, there was a dramatic twist. I had wondered the previous day whether the probiotic pills were upsetting my stomach as probiotics tend to do with me. And let me tell you that on that second morning after taking the two pills the night before, the stomach cramps were real. And they sent me running to the toilet where I spent 10 minutes in quite a lot of discomfort. Um, and let's just say had a clearing out. And so I can't say for sure, but I think these pills did really upset my stomach. The impact is not going to be the same for everyone. Probiotics usually upset my stomach. That's not necessarily the case for other people. At 30 pounds a pack, if you suffer from bad hangovers, this is probably worth a try. That said, if you're expecting to go out and have a blast and really overdo it with alcohol and wake up feeling completely normal the next day, I feel you might be disappointed, but you can only know by trying these things for yourself. We all know excessive drinking is harmful to our health and this really doesn't change that. So I wouldn't want it to give people a false sense of security. Will I continue taking it? Not regularly, no, but there's a chance I might if I'm going to a big event or a night out where I know I'll probably end up drinking more than I should. I might take it to try to reduce the very worst effects of hangover for me, which is migraine. But then I might have to deal with an upset stomach. Still, that's better than a migraine. Now, because I get a stuffy nose with wine and swelling, I also think I have an allergy to wine, which makes my hangover so much worse. And I don't think that this would tackle that. An undetective allergy to wine may account for a lot of people's problems with it. I sometimes take an antihistamine if I'm drinking more than a glass, which does actually help counter some of the allergic symptoms. I hope if you're interested in hangover cures or were considering buying Miracle that this helps in your decision making. Do you have a hangover cure that you swear by or have you tried this new pill? Do let me know in the comments section. I have lots more reviews on this channel covering everything from household products to beauty and anti-aging products and devices, expert interviews and more. So if you want to watch more from me, then just hit subscribe along with the notification bell. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.